And this is where Mr. Sullivan is going to introduce us to the converses of the parallel lines theorems. Take it away, Mr. Sullivan. Second one, converse of the alternate interior angles theorem. If two lines in a transversal form alternate interior angles that are congruent, then two lines are parallel. So, for example, 4 and 5. If I know that 4 and 5, because they're alternate interior angles, if I know that they are congruent, then these two lines would be parallel. Same side interior angles theorem. If two lines in a transversal form same side interior angles that are supplementary, then the two lines are parallel. So 3 and 5 are same side interior. If they add up to 180 degrees, then yes, the lines are parallel. And last but not least, if two lines in a transversal form alternate exterior angles that are congruent, then the two lines are parallel. So 1 and 8, alternate exterior angles, if they're congruent, then we have it. It's exactly the same as before, it's just the converse of what we were doing. The, the, we were starting with the end, working towards the beginning. Okay? Let's try another one. 2 and 6. So 2 and 6, so let's go to 2. We have 2 and we have 6. 2 and 6, well those are alternate interior angles, right? If I'm looking at this angle here, or this line here and this line here, this would be the transversal, so these would be alternate interior angles, and then A would be parallel to B that time. All right, let's try another one. Angle 1 and angle 5 equals 180 degrees. Well, 180, that's going to be supplementary, so we know we're looking at one of the uh, probably same side interior angles. So 1 and 5, they are interior to A and B, so A would be parallel to B. All right? And last but not least, B, or 8, is congruent to angle 3. All right, well, you can see this line is, is not even in use, right? We're using this as our transversal. So these are outside the lines, so it would have to be these two, and because they're alternate exterior angles, so we would say A is parallel to B. Okay? All right, little application. Mr. Kelly built this fence, all right? Russ comes out, he's really mean, he looks at me and says, those uh, are not parallel. Kelly measures and finds that this angle here is 35 degrees. What should angle 2 be? Well, those are same side interior angles. So for them to be parallel, angle 2 would have to add up to 180. So 35 plus what equals 180? 35 plus 145 should equal 180. So if Mr. Kelly wanted to make sure, he should have made sure that that board right there, that angle measured 145 when he was making it.